A receipt from a grocery store in the UP has created a lot of buzz. Everything from Facebook messages to mass emails about the situation. And it shows what may be considered luxury food items paid for with food stamps. 33 year old Lewis Cup of Menominee, Michigan has been charged with welfare fraud. But as Fox 11's Cameron Clark shows us, it wasn't what he bought that was illegal, but what police say he did with it. This receipt from Angelie's grocery store in Menominee, Michigan shows six lobster tails and two porterhouse steaks, all paid for with a food stamp card. Including soda, it totaled $141.78. It's not really with the lobsters or the steaks, although that's an emotional issue for people. I understand where they'd be concerned about that. But What was illegal is authorities say that 33-year-old Louis Cuff sold the items for cash at about 50 cents on the dollar. My understanding is somebody found the receipt with the lobster tails and the steaks on it. Lieutenant Greg Nast says a tip on Facebook led to a month-long joint investigation with the Michigan Department of Human Services. Fox 11 spoke with Cuff at his home. I was wondering if you had anything to say. Uh, who at first denied the allegations. You were charged and arrested on it. I mean, I'm not talking about it. No comment? However, authorities say Cuff admitted to selling the items on the receipt, as well as on two other occasions, all between February and April. It really causes hardships for those people who do need them, uh, because now they're under uh, a cloud of, of suspicion. While the grocery store declined comment, authorities say the store followed all of the laws for selling items involving food stamps and has cooperated with the ongoing investigation. Authorities say they are still looking into potential charges for the three or four people they believe bought the food items from Cuff. In Menominee, Michigan, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. Cuff is out of jail and on, on a $5,000 signature bond. If convicted, he faces up to five years in prison. He's scheduled to be back in Menominee County Court later this month.